Yeah, evidently, a couple of the guys were talking about your charity work on um, the wrap-up show. But you know what it is? They're forgetting you're doing something really good. Oh, no, no, no. That couldn't possibly be happening. I'm just, you know, bathing my ego, filling a hole. You, really, you know, it you look, mean, really in other makes words, me look at the people I work with as kind of like evil, horrible people. Well, wake up and smell the road coffee. <laughs> you know, I try to think well of everyone, but oof. No. I couldn't even look at these guys this morning. I was like, wow, such evil thoughts. Yeah, well, listen, that's who you work with. All right. I'll have to remember that. Mm, goddamn right you should. <laughs> it's with you. Don't think they're just putting on an act. These are real horrible <laughs> human beings. By the way, uh, Robin's put together a, yet uh, uh, a spectacular charity event coming off her last one. And this one is a comedy. Club. I didn't put together the last one. Somebody asked me if they could honor me. Right. It was someone else's charity. Exactly. But this is your event. Yeah. And you have, uh, who do you have coming? Dave Attell, Daryl Hammond, Gilbert Gottfried, Paul Mooney. That's a good night. That's a brilliant night. I did hear Sal and Richard. Sal and Richard were talking about they're going to be one of the... Uh, well, I just, I, no, nothing's set in stone. I, I don't want their participation if they don't want to be a part of it. They lie and say, oh, no, we'd love to do it. And then they have these ulterior motives. I don't want no, them they to actually, be bothered with I it. I think you're, uh, you're jumping on them too fast. They were all excited about it. I heard something about Richard's going to go there and get drunk and Sal's dragging a Guatemalan kid somewhere from... He's going to find a Guatemalan kid to bring or something. No, 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 no. I just listened to the clip. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> they were saying that, uh, well, first Sal goes, someone asked him, I guess there's a table where they're going to be sitting and you you will uh, get to sit with Sal and Richard for the evening. Am right, I correct? Right, So Gary or John said, well, Sal, are you going to bring your, are you going to really uh, have to prepare for this? Are you going to make it special? And he goes, no, 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 you know, I'm just going to sit there. And Richard goes, no, we're going to. Bring our A game, and then Sal all of a sudden goes, "Yeah, we're gonna step it up. We're gonna we're gonna make it fun." Like he he goes along with whatever Richard says. <laughs> Here, I'll play you the clip. It's great. <laughs> Sal does the complete turnaround within three seconds. People are bidding on these tables, and you know Howard was joking that who would want to sit with us. But I'll tell you this: if you bid on me and Sal's table, you're gonna have a hell of a good time. Do you feel like you have to? perform at something like this like people are going to come in with expectations sitting no, at your table not and, well at all. kind of yeah but you know I what mean, we want to make way. sure the people at our table have fun if you're going to build a fire you need gasoline you know and that's how mm -hmm. it is we got to we got to light this motherfucker up this ain't a game of canasta he went from no to we got to light this motherfucker up in that 30 up. seconds it was yeah. like instantaneous he could have broken <laughs> his neck with that turn yeah must have got a bloody nose He's a funny guy. From pulling out of that power. No, room. yeah. No, yes, no, yes. Whatever Richard said, I, I, I agree with. So with a bunch of old ladies, this is Richard and Sal at Robin's extremely important fundraising event. And it's important that we get the word out there. Sal's bringing his A game. A, a game, B, yeah. and C, motherfucker. That's what. There you go. That was very nice. I don't necessarily know if I want their A, mm. B, and C. Well, if I was you, I wouldn't even have them anywhere near the event. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know what you're thinking with that one. Don't go Again, there. I told you, I thought they were human, and now I see I was wrong. Wow, whoa, 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 whoa. They're uh, going, and they're going with a good attitude. Why are you, <laughs> seriously, why are you? I uh, don't want Richard sitting there sloshed and, and, and barfing on people. I didn't hear him say anything about being drunk. I thought that's what he was talking. What's Richard's A game? To wear a diaper, drink a lot of beer, and pee on himself. Well. You invite him, and he's going to give you his A game. <laughs> That's what people want. A the, stands for asshole. Right. He's going to asshole it up. Oh, boy. <laughs> but that's fun. Um, anyway, you're bringing your A game, right? Yeah, that's right. No, Definitely. That's right. I'm going to... Uh... I'm going to get shit-faced. but <laughs> Wait, don't you get shit-faced? It's for a good cause, though, yeah. that I'm getting shit-faced. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually helping Robin, I think, by saying that we're going to get drunk and, and rowdy and, and wild because people are going to want to come and bid on our table and have fun with us. Right. Yeah, well, I would imagine that's the idea. Yeah. Oh, shit, i got to turn my phone off. I heard that, too. Would you go turn my phone off? Where is it? <laughs> that's all right. I'm just kidding with you. <laughs> well, it sounds like he's bringing his A game, Robin. Yeah. 
uh, wonderful. You don't want, do you not want him to come? Uh, no. You don't? No. You're taking back your offer? I, 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 don't, have my I don't want to be bothered. Well, isn't this a comedy show? Isn't it about having fun? The comedy's supposed to be on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but why do they serve drinks at a comedy show? So you can get shit-faced and laugh and have a good time. I don't think they serve drinks for people to get shit-faced. Well, why else would you drink? Oh. Really? Right. I drink. I don't get shit-faced. Well, you're missing out. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. Anyway, whatever you guys decide to do. All right. So are uh, we invited or not? I don't know. Talk, talk to Robin after the show. I'm scared to talk to Robin off the air. That's ridiculous, Richard. <laughs> she, what have she, I ever done to you? Nothing, but you, I, you're just so kind of regal and, and proper. It makes me uncomfortable. You mean like the Duchess of York? Mm. Yeah. Wow. It, it's well, like don't I, worry. She's a swindler or something. <laughs> Right. It's like I feel when, uh, like one time we recorded something with Donald Trump and I just felt very intimidated. And that's kind of how I feel talking to Robin. Unless we're talking about horror movies. But about this stuff, I feel a little nervous talking to her. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right. There he is, Richard of Richard and Sal. It's questionable whether they will be at the big charity event. What are you going to do? Are you going to pull the plug on those two? want to be involved so they don't have to be involved why do you say that all i hear is that they do want to be involved. it's sort of uh, it, there's a passive aggressive thing going on here sal are you being passive aggressive no i just want to warn robin if richard doesn't go i don't go i'm not asking either one of you i know you come as a package so you don't want either one of us there no wow that's insulting why, no, why? you you guys really, you know, you're giving me these mixed signals. You want to be there. You don't want to be there. You feel that I, I dragged you into this. I don't, I don't want to drag anybody into anything. No, we're just hyping it up for you. <laughs> okay. Well, I got I to gotta say, that clip does sound like they are saying, hey, we're going to go there and have a good time and have a good time at the table. Don't you yeah, agree? You want us to play bingo? Nobody asked you to play bingo. Yeah, I, I, gonna... I wanted you to be, uh, you know, sometimes I've seen you be charming and funny. That's all, that's all we're going to do. <laughs> the Guatemalan kid with the flies was just a joke. I'm not really going to bring a ghost. Like, You're not going to bring a Guatemalan kid? I went online last night. <laughs> I couldn't get one shipped over in time. I thought uh, you were bringing your A-game. Yeah, A-game means you're bringing a Guatemalan. Right. <laughs> all right, I'll do it. All right. All right, thank but, uh, you. But, Robin, we really want to have a good time. Please don't be insulted. We really do. All right. We think it's a nice event. I want to know where Robin saw you being charming and funny. I, you know, it's always been in private. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't do that. All right, you and from what I'm hearing, uh, I'll speak for Robin. You and Richard are out of the event. All right, nothing. All right, new. We're used to that. All right, <laughs> goodbye. That's it. You're out. You're out of the. Uh, you're out at your table. Were you getting any bids on their table anyway? I hadn't put it up for auction yet. Wow. Well, there. I just fired those two from your table. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody else you want out? No, no, everybody's out. It's fine. Get out of here. You sound uncomfortable. I am very uncomfortable. It was an uncomfortable wrap-up show yesterday. You know, to hear people carrying on that way, it was just odd. So they don't have to be a part of anything. Well, this is not going well. Well, I feel the event will be a success. Well, you know, I'll work as hard as I can to make it a success. That's what, you know, that's my job. Right. Well, you've got your work cut out for you, but uh, I think you will prevail. What do you think of that? My money's on you. I just do what I do. People can, you know, do whatever they do. <laughs> wow. When they do an event, they can choose whatever they want to be about it, or, you know, they can just sit on their laurels and, and comment on what other people do. Well, it sounds like uh, that wrap-up show did it again. Well, I didn't hear the wrap-up show yesterday, actually, Robin. I just heard, you know, that, uh, people were like, are you going to come down and defend yourself? I was like, what do I need to defend myself for? What? I should go there and fight with them about a charity event. And what my motivations for doing it are. That's ridiculous. Hmm. Right. Well, you would think the charity event would have been causing happiness, but it seems to only be causing pain. Well, that's what happens in this bizarro world. Oh, yes. This is the bizarro world. 
Who specifically got under your skin? I don't, uh, I think mostly Jason. Jason? Yeah. Of Jason and Will? Well, they're not a team. <laughs> We're not a couple anymore. <laughs> I feel like they're a team and Sal and Richard are a team. I don't know why. Well, Will would like to be separated from the team, and I can understand why. <laughs> Anything you want to address to Jason no, or no? No, no, no. He can have his feelings about whatever. That's his business. All right. Well, looks like there's going to be some uncomfortable feelings around here. That's my take well, on Well, apparently it. everybody's uncomfortable with me. Now I know it. <laughs> mm. That's all that's happened. Seems to be some fear about you, right? Uh, apparently, yeah. I'm like a scary person. Does this mean, and this is a tough decision for you to make now, but does this mean Jason is out of Girls' Night Out? <laughs> is he out? Be honest. You don't want him there anymore. Uh, well, since Girls' Night Out's, Out has been inactive, he can still be in it. And uh, will you, is Jason part of the new charity event? I had asked Jason for a couple of phone numbers, but maybe I should go to someone else. So you're cutting him out completely of the... I don't want to bother him. Right. So he will not be asked to do any charity work, per se. No. All right. There you go. There's a lot of changes coming down the pike. Jason suddenly on the outs. Sal he's and Richard. not on any outs. Oh, he's, yes, he no, is. No, I'm just not going to bother him. You know, he says, right. you know, somebody came in and took over the office. Strange person bothered him. So, Wait, so I don't want to bother him. So is it fair to say that uh, Richard and Sal are out of the charity event? Jason will not even be asked to help out with the charity event. I'm wondering where John Hine and Gary stand at this point. That's the big question. Again, uh, I don't, you know, people can, I will leave them all alone. Well, all right. Oh, are you mad at all of us? She's not, I'm mad. not mad. at She's anyone. leaving you all alone. I mean, somebody called the show yesterday and said that Robert's filling a void, and I went out of my way to say that that's bullshit and you're crazy. I mean... I don't want to be lumped in with those other guys. Well, you, uh, you are. Too late. Too late. I took care of that. Am I guilty by, just by virtue of being host of the show? Yes. Am I right, Robin? I'm, uh, again, I'm not, I just don't want to bother anybody. I mean, it, it's, it's a very uh, slippery slope you go on here if you, you get involved with anyone. Robin, I never said that I was bothered. I mean, no. other people did, but... I never said I was bothered at all. In fact, I said that you've done a lot for me, and I feel I'd like to do some stuff back for you. I, I don't want to be lumped in with those what guys. What about that, Robin? What about what Gary's saying? Is he getting lumped in with this crew? Well, he said that, you know, he agreed with Jason that I jump from charity to charity. Jason has an idea about how I should be charitable. And Gary said, well, you might be right about that. I said so, I, think, I think that sometimes it's confusing which charity you're with because you've done a lot of events in a short period of time. That's not trashing you. I'm saying it now. I'll say it to your face. I think that you said it yesterday. It's a fine. So leave it alone. Are you really that confused by how many charity events she's done? Well, I'm, I'm not sure which is the, mo the most important one, which is the main one. They're all important. I get that. Am I right, Robin? Look, I don't even want to have this discussion. All right. You can enough. be lumped in, too. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I, I'm a, believe me, I'm happy to be lumped in with anybody. I'm happy to be part of a group. Good. You made it. Thank you. Well, I don't know. A lot of activity around here. I'm proud of you, Charity. I hope you raise a lot of money. But, uh, I don't know. Some bad vibes around here. Like I said, I didn't, uh, I didn't hear all this. Speaking of bad vibes, too. Stamos had bad vibes, too, from the show. I can understand it now. <laughs> oh. No, you can't. Why can't I? Because you I'm know. I'm feeling bad vibes from the show. Well, listen. I'm joining a group. His. You're all a bunch of vipers. Well, you can't say that. I can't? No. I just did. Well, that's mean. Boo who? To say that I'm a viper? I don't I don't accept that. I mean I might be a viper toward other people, not to you. There's a lot of people who feel I'm a viper. 
Well, I, I just can see his point of view. Well, Not necessarily yeah. about you, but maybe. Well, it was directed got, at me. Uh, he directed it at me. I didn't think I was being viperous, though. I really don't. I was talking about the party, and I was, you know, I said I had a great time. And I hung around with John the whole night. I mentioned the Don Rickles thing that he said we uh, bummed out Don Rickles. And I said, you know, uh-oh. Here we come. Here we go. What's up? Turn I'm your shocked. mind. shocked. Because you're you, shy. You were tough. I guess so. Usually I walk off the wrap-up show, and I'm like, oh, man, I shouldn't have said this, or I wish I didn't say that. But I didn't think I said anything off base. I was in support of Robin's charity. Not really. A little bit. No, I heard a clip. I didn't think you were. I mean, you weren't as bad as I thought you were. I wasn't be, one but, of those guys saying were... she's trying to fill a void or she's doing this for some ulterior motive. No, was... six years ago, I got jealous of Howard, and this is all a result of that. You said that. I uh, No, you put the, this is all a result of that in there. Well, I said, yeah, we were, everyone was trying were to go back to the, to the genesis of it. Remember, we were talking, I said, for a moment, I had this little pang of jealousy while I was seeing the 60 Minutes piece. And oh. I don't even know what, you know, Jason's holding on to this, this momentary <laughs> thought and now uh, has it as dragged the, it out. the, not dragged <laughs> it out, but it's the it. basis for what I do now. People were trying to figure out why Robin was being more charitable. And, and I said, you, I, and more charitable, <laughs> you act as if I was not this way before. Before that, yes, I've you were never, not this. You were not this yeah. way on the air before that. What are you talking about? I've you been never, doing. I first of all, I was on the board of a charity. Used to have a fundraiser every year, and I used to uh, announce it on the air the same way I have now. There simply has been a different level of activity in the last few months because I started the 15 Foundation. And long before that, scenarios asked me to do something for them, and the Girl Fund asked them me to do something for them. What's the big deal? <laughs> well, the big deal took up an hour on the wrap-up oh, show. You know what? I said I didn't want to get into this conversation. <laughs> Goodbye, Jason. Well, Jason. I don't know what to say. I, I do. I think I, I, I my said I don't want to have this conversation. She's upset. Okay. She want to talk to you about it. All right. Well, then I guess. No, uh, then we're done. <laughs> I guess we are done. All, All right, right. Never mind. Thank then. you, Jason. <laughs> Last dismissed. Wow. Good Lord. Well, sorry it's all come to this. There's a lot of good intentions here. But, Where? Well, on your part. You're trying to raise money for charity. Oh, you say there's a lot of good intentions. I don't see it all around. Hold it. I said there's a lot of good intentions from you. Hello? What? <laughs> You're bummed out. I have to work with these people. Hmm. Well, what can I say? This is what happens in the workplace. Uh, not to me. Usually I'm not involved with them, obviously. I don't know what they're like. It's that wrap-up show, I'm telling you. No, it's not. It's who they are. The wrap-up show only exposes that. <laughs> it's nice to know who you're working with. Hmm. Well, I'll move on. I don't know what else to say. I was trying to get to the bottom of all this, if there were real negative feelings. But... Oh, you're wondering if they're real negative feelings? I don't know. I think some of the guys try to perform on that wrap-up show. <clears throat> they try to make it interesting, but... They kind of don't know how to finesse it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think anybody dislikes you or is against you. I think, I think people generally around here like you a lot. I do. And I think, you know, I think Jason behind the scenes does work very hard with you on a lot of these events and things. From what I hear, from what you guys tell me. But I think they get on the wrap-up show and they're trying to make something interesting happen. And they maybe put their foot in their mouth or step on somebody's toes. What do you think of that? Uh, I, I don't even care what the, what happens. You don't. I just know what they said. Or the feeling I got from what they said. Can they do anything to repair their relationship with you? There's nothing wrong with our relationship. Oh, bullshit. No, no, really. Sounds bad. It'll be the same. Really? Mm -hmm. No, it won't. I don't think it will. I I, my opinion is I think It'll be, why would it be any different? 
Because you have a nice relationship with Jason. I see you two palling around. But why would it be any different? He's the same person before I heard the wrap-up show yesterday yeah, as he is today. You're angry with him. No, I'm not. You're not? No, I said I just don't want to have the conversation. They had their conversation. It's enough already. It's over. Hmm. Want to talk about American Idol? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see it. <laughs> Robin, do you have a second? No. Are you upset by this? I'm upset by Robin's reaction, which I totally don't understand or didn't expect. You and I'm upset by the way she talked to me on the air. I don't talk to her like that. but uh, Like dismissing you? Yes, dismissive. You didn't think that she'd be upset with your comments yesterday? What did I say? Here's what I... Let's, let's just run through my comments. Yeah. Yes, I made... An observation that her charity work has overtaken the office in some degree, which is true, and I stand by that. She's upset by that. Fine. I said that I find it confusing to follow all the different charities she talks about on the air. Again, I stand by that. If that upset you, too bad. Uh, and I said uh, uh, when people were trying to figure out where this all came from, I go, well, you know, Rob, you know, kind of reminded me when Robin said this five or six years ago. Again, what did I say that was so bad? Apparently, she doesn't want to talk to me off air about it because I didn't hear from her yesterday, and she doesn't want to talk to me on air about it. So. I'm left talking to you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Sal, so are you uninvited from this uh, this charity event? Apparently, I am. I mean, uh, Richard and I said we wanted to have a good time, have a uh, go crazy. I was going to adopt a Guatemalan kid with flies on his face and bring him over there. Richard was going to get shit faced drunk. We were going to dance on the tables. We were going to strip down. We were going to do conga lines naked. We wanted to do everything that we possibly could to increase the bids for Robin's so-called charity and now she uninvited us you upset no actually i'm pretty happy <laughs> <laughs> it worked it worked i'm out of this stupid charity what did we do wrong well because we're gonna go and get drunk well there's free alcohol there what's the problem what's there to be pissed about you know what if you're pissed about it tell you what go down to ethiopia and start feeding those kids. No cameras, no charities, no bottles of champagne, no silly comedians, no uh, constant, you know, shameless plugs on the show. Go down there, get your hands dirty, and sincerely help people. Did Mother Teresa come on? Was Mother Teresa on a radio show going, oh, this weekend I'll be at Caroline's and next week I'll be at a wine festival? I'm sorry, we're not the sip on wine and have a proper time type. We're the let's get fucking drunk, man, have a good time, yeah, woo! The bottom line means somebody somewhere is helped, it's good, you know? But you know what, there's other ways of doing it, there's other ways of taking care of people with charity, and we tried our best. We wanted to increase the bids as best as we could, and uh, you know, we're not good enough, we're not good enough. There is a certain expectation when it comes to Sal and I, and that expectation is that we're gonna act like fucking idiots and that's what we do i'm sorry this is from kelly <clears throat> oh my fucking god i can't believe robin i was going to try to bid on your table with you and richard out of everyone on that show that would be the only one i would bid on you don't have to agree with this but she is acting like a bitch i wish there was a way to silence her voice on the radio you and richard are amazing and you are totally right on this subject plus Nobody wants to go to a stuffy charity event. You and Richard would make it so much better. One, four, three to you, Sal, from Kelly. So there you go, Robin. People want to bid because we're trying to make it fun. Richard Christie, please forward information on where to buy tickets to sit with you and Sal at Robin's charity event. I'm ready to get my drink on, and it's for a great cause. To have the opportunity to hang with you and Sal would be an unbelievable experience. Thanks. Signed, Mike. Well, Mike, I apologize, but we're not invited. See what happens when you put too much coffee up your ass? You get all fucked up. You can't think straight. We, you got two guys here who are willing to make this a spectacular event. You see what happens? You see what happens when you put some coffee up a stranger's ass? You see? Do you see what happens? <laughs> you see what happens when you wrap yourself up in a tortilla in California to sweat some shit out of your system? You see? You Got see it. what happens when you shove coffee up somebody's ass? Do you, you see, see what happens? You get all fucked up!
Coffee's for your mouth, not for your asshole. That right there should tell you she's nuts. We're not going to this party. Forget it. You see what happens when you shove coffee up your ass, Robin? Do you see what happens? We lost. We lost out. We lost out to a wonderful charity. I'm going to have to call that Guatemalan kid and tell him to just stay there and keep eating those flies. <laughs> I mean, we were going to have a nice meal for him. A little kettle one and pineapple. Imagine a little Guatemalan kid finally having a nice cocktail and a decent meal. Now he's back to... Why? Because we can't be at this extravagant event with Champagne and Robin for the 15 Foundation. Get the hell out of here with this garbage.